At my lowest, I was so raw with emotion that it felt like I was constantly three seconds away from crying my eyes out. The darkness that clung to me became so overwhelming, I couldn't stand it anymore. And since brain holidays just aren't a thing, I began using TV, video, YouTube, whatever I could as a way to distract myself. I'd sit and I'd laugh at Abe Simpson or watch Invader Zim for the thousandth time. Anything that helped me feel normal and escape for just a little while. Crutches. These are the things we use to get us through each day. They are our hobbies, interests, or other things we take pleasure in doing. Things like drawing, painting, drinking, smoking, listening to, or making music. They may help us to cope with difficult situations, but they can be a double-edged sword. Our crutches can have another darker side to them. These are the things that hold us back and stop us from doing the things we enjoy, that make us happy. They'll stop us from trying new things and pushing ourselves to do and be better people. They're the things that we have or haven't done in the past, the choices we've made, a negative experience that we hold on to just because it's me. I wake up late again. I start to think about all the things I have to do today. My mind starts to overload and then I can't think properly. I pick up my phone and start playing one of my games. A few minutes playing will help. This I can do. It's a lot more straightforward. I know what I'm doing here. Then I check the time. Oh dear. A couple of hours have passed. A late start to the day has become a very late start. And I still have everything to do. There goes my good feeling back down the drain. You think of it like a massive roundabout. You go round and round in your head like a loop and you can't find a way off. You think everybody else has got it figured out and they can take whatever exit ramp they want. Then you finally see that wonderful sign that gives you a path to somewhere else. And that becomes your go-to. It becomes your crutch. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't go down that path. I'm just saying maybe you should buy the map to the area and find some other routes.